Guys, my name is Tommy, and of course, this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and I am telling you, I am super pumped, super excited to be bringing this griddle to the channel. Those who follow the channel know that I did have a brand new Blackstone in the garage. I had it in there for about a week or two, and I decided to return it and take a shot at this bad boy. This is the Halo Elite 4B. We are talking four burner. We are talking eight zones. That is right. I said eight zones. We are talking wall to wall. We are talking 720 square inches of cooking surface with a whole redesigned eight zone burner system. So look, let's get this sucker unboxed. Let's take a look at that whole, uh, that whole burner system and everything else this griddle has to offer. So look, as I unboxed this griddle, a couple things stood right out to me. And number one, you can tell this is a premium product. First off, the manual is like a uh, like a minor book, but it is well made with uh, pictures. It is not your usual piece of paper manual. And number two, the blister pack is not that bad. And number three, everything, and I mean everything, is nicely numbered. So look, man, those are the three things that I see right off the bat. Now let's jump into this. Let's get that cart put together. Step one is grab your quick start guide. Open that up to page three. You're going to grab 31, 33, 33A, and number 45. So guys, next up it is 32 and 32A along with that end cap and three screws. So I just wanted to chime in here as I screw that uh, leg assembly in. I mean, this is pretty much a piece of cake so far. Just look at the pictures and make sure you got the right bends in each leg. Step three is grab 41, 41A. You're gonna get one of those long screws out of that blister pack. Grab those two legs, cause that there is the next step. This is where I had to take my time and figure things out, so I wanted to show you in detail. This is basically one side of the leg assembly. You want to get the proper hardware and just follow along. And keep in mind right there, that is self-tapping. You are going to screw that down. At that point, you are gonna grab that 41 and 41A, and you see how it bends right there. That is gonna go inner and outer. It's basically just two screws. So look, once you get that side, that leg assembly done, you are gonna repeat the process for the other side. Alrighty guys, look, you've got your left and your right side leg assembly all put together. Now you are going to find the tank support bracket and your long rear assembly because that there is the next step. So notice how I have it laid out. You just want to make sure those cutouts are all facing the same way. Two screws, screw it down. So far, so good. Next up is grab both leg assemblies, uh, grab that rear brace, and let's attach the three together. So I found it easiest to do this next step is just by laying that leg assembly down. It is two screws, just connect it together, screw it down, flip it over, and do the other side. Guys, from there, that is your front panel. That is gonna fit right into place with two screws on each side. 
Alrighty, look, so we are definitely moving right along. Flip the unit upside down, grab your four wheels, making sure your two locking caster wheels are up front and the two unlocking are in the rear. Keep in mind that there is an included yellow wrench that is gonna stick to the side of your griddle. That will be used after you get it set up to level your griddle top. So look, for this next step, you wanna flip the unit on its side. You've got two tags, you wanna flip those tags out. Those are your lighting instruction tab. At that point, you're gonna insert your two batteries and also install your four foot brackets. On those self-leveling legs, you're gonna remove that cotter pin right there, and that is gonna help you when you remove it from your cart, you set it on a table and self-level it. Keep in mind on these legs, there may be two different sizes, so you wanna match them up to the holes in question and just screw them down. Grab an extra set of hands, grab that lid assembly. You're gonna lay it right on the cart. You'll see there'll be four holes. And there is our eight burners. And I gotta tell you, man, eight zones, man. I am excited and super pumped for that. Next up with the included handles, you will lay the griddle top in. Oh. All righty, look, so that is just about it. Although we do have four knobs to put on, we've got a handle to put on, we've got the side tables to put on. I do believe that is one, two, three. I'll get the knobs on, I'll get the handle on. If the uh, side tables are anything more than just a couple screws, put them on. I'll bring you guys back for that. Otherwise, Otherwise stay tuned. We will do a quick walk around on this griddle and then close out the show. Alrighty, and that's going to pretty much conclude this show here today. And I got to tell you, man, I am super excited for this uh, for this griddle. I heard it can get up to that 800, 850 on that griddle surface. That is going to open up a whole recipe bank for me. I mean, being a kitchen guy, having trained in the kitchen, there are tons of recipes that I could bring from the kitchen out to the griddle. And it would definitely help if I can get that 750, 800 to do a proper sear. Also, there are a couple goodies that before I close out the show, I'd like to show you. Come on over here. First up, a nice built-in level to help you level the uh, griddle surface. And that is a wrench that is going to stick right there. It would have been cool if they would have uh, included a little bottle opener on that wrench, but they didn't. Just kind of screw those legs up and down and you'll get a nice level surface. We got our fold-down shelves. We got one of those on each side. That is your optional tool holder and also going to double to lift up the, uh, lift up the griddle. There you go. And from there, that is our built-in warming rack. If you don't like that rack there, you can easily remove it. How about some built-in wind guards? I mean, there are other goodies that come with this griddle, and we will go over all that on the next show. All righty, look, so that is basically going to conclude this unboxing and this quick little walk around. On my next video, we will light it up, and we will season that griddle top and do a full walk around on some of the features, so you are going to want to stay tuned for that. Otherwise, that is going to conclude this show. My name is Tommy. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. And I am telling you, we are going to be packing these shows in. So look, that is it. I appreciate you all for watching. And until next time, we will see you soon.